Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Kowalczyk here to talk to you about registering for your senior year classes. I'm going to be going over the LP graduation and college pattern requirements, senior year courses, area career center courses, PE waivers, IBCC early out option, and early graduation. I'm also going to be showing you how to put your class requests in PowerSchool since we are going to be doing this virtually this year. First of all, I want to talk to you about the LP and college pattern requirements. For LP, for English, you need four credits. For college pattern, you also need four credits. For math at LP, you need three credits, and that must include algebra and geometry. For college, they would recommend three years, possibly four, depending on what your major is going to be and where you go to college. At LP, we only require a year of biology and a year of chemistry. However, in college, they would like you to have at least three, if not four years of science in high school. For social studies, we require a year of world history and a year of US history and a semester of government. If you plan to go to college, we recommend that you take at least another semester social studies course, if not more. At LP, we have requirements for personal finance and economics, PE, and health. These are not required to get into college. We also require a year of fine arts, vocational education, or foreign language. Most four-year colleges would like a two-year, two-credit minimum in these areas. Some require foreign language. Please see your counselor for information about that. LP also requires a half a credit in essential technology, which is not required for college. The NCAA has academic requirements as well. So if you plan on playing sports in college, either at the D1 or D2 level, please make sure you talk to your counselor. So what kind of classes do you need to take senior year? We have some required classes. First of all, English. If you are currently taking English 3, then as a senior, you will take two semester electives. The first semester would be either British Literature or Shakespeare, and the second semester would be College Prep Honors English, Multicultural Literature, or Business and Technical Writing. If you're currently in AP English Language, you can take AP English Literature, or you can choose the two semester electives listed above. If you're currently in SE English 3, you need to take SE English 4. If you're planning, if you have not met your math requirements, if you're currently in geometry, next year you will take Algebra 2. If you're currently in geometry honors, you would take Algebra 2 honors. If you're currently in Algebra 2 honors, you would take Pre-Calc honors, AP statistics, or some math electives. If you're currently in Algebra 1 and Math Essentials, then senior year you would take SE Geometry. For science, if you haven't completed your Biology and Chemistry, you should complete one of those. Otherwise, you could take an optional third or fourth year of science, and these would be based on your interests and future careers, plans, majors, or college. For social science, if you have not already done so, you need to take U.S. History and a semester of American government. If you are planning to go to college, we would suggest taking some electives in social sciences. For PE, you must take two semesters of Enhanced PE or APT. Other required courses, if you haven't already taken them, include Essential Technology for a semester, and either personal finance or principles of economics. You will also have senior electives and those will be chosen based on your college career plat pad, plans or interests. So other things to consider, um, we do offer several area career center courses that are available to juniors and seniors. If you plan to take an area career center course, you need to sign up via the Google form that was emailed on December 1st or you can follow the link on the counseling webpage. When we go to put our class requests in PowerSchool, you will not be allowed to add your Area Career Center class in the PowerSchool. 
Your counselor will have to add that class, which will then appear in your course requests. Signing up for the Area Career Center classes does not guarantee a space. Slots are filled on a first come, first serve basis. The Area Career Center Google form closes on January 14th. You may still be able to sign up through your counselor after this date if space is available. PE waivers. If you plan to take a PE waiver, make sure you email your counselor as soon as possible. You still must request two PE classes in PowerSchool. Your counselor will update your course request in PowerSchool once the PE waiver form is returned. To guarantee space in the waiver class you choose, PE waiver form should be returned by March 2nd. Early graduation. If you think you are eligible or if you plan to graduate early after the first semester of your senior year, please email your counselor soon. You must meet all graduation requirements by the end of the first semester of your senior year and earn 23 credits. You still need to request a full year schedule of classes in PowerSchool, and your counselor will update your course request once the request for early graduation form is returned. IVCC Early Out. We do have an option here where you can go to IVCC in the afternoon. You must email your counselor for details and forms. You must be in good standing. You must attend LP for five periods and take a two to three credit hour class at IVCC. In your schedule for PowerSchool, you must still request a full day, full year schedule. And once you return the paperwork about IVCC early out forms, your counselor will update your course requests. And once again, if you are a college bound athlete, please email your counselor for specific requirements. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to register in PowerSchool. What you need to do is go to www.lphs.net slash counseling. Click on the registration course selection link, last link on the left-hand column. Under seniors, click on PowerSchool student link, which is also right here. What you will need to do is log into PowerSchool. If you do not know your password, please email your counselor and they will get that to you. When choosing your classes, you can refer to the senior registration sheet that was mailed home and this sheet is also online. And you can also refer to the online program of studies for course descriptions. So once you log into PowerSchool, this is the screen that you will see. We'll have class registration. Step one, click on class registration. What will happen is this screen will appear. Step two is if it has a red asterisk, that means that something has to be completed. There are notes here for seniors. Make sure to select seven classes per semester, inclu including both semesters of full year classes. So if you're going to take, say, AP US History, make sure you register for both semesters. Please contact your counselor if you plan to take an ACC course, participate in early graduation, IVCC early out, or a PE waiver. If you plan to use a PE waiver, you must select a PE course each semester until a waiver is returned to your counselor. If you plan to do IVCC early out, you must select courses until the form is returned to your counselor and you are approved. Counselors will contact you via email regarding questions or conflicts, so please remember to check your email often. Right here, it talks about additional requests because there is a green check mark. That means you do not have to do anything. Down here where it's circled, it says requires between four and seven credit hours. So that means when you are done submitting your classes, you have to have between four and seven credit hours. The next step, step three, is actually selecting your classes. The classes on PowerSchool are listed alphabetically. So if you know what you're going to take, you can scroll down. Well, actually you do have to go and do the numbers to get to the next page, but you can actually go down and what you would do is select, just click on them and select what you want. 
you can see that I'm going to, for an example, accounting one has 117440 as the course number. That would be first semester. 117447B is second semester. After you've included all your classes, you hit step four, which is okay. What will happen is you will get a screen that looks something like this, which lists the number of classes and the names of the classes that you have submitted. If there is a check mark in the upper right hand corner, that means that you have done what you need to do. If, there, if it still has an exclamation point, that means you've done something wrong and you need to edit that. Once you think this is all correct, hit step five and hit submit. What will happen is you will be shown a list of all your 2021-22 course requests. If you want to go in to change those, you can do so. And then also your counselor will be able to view these as well and they'll double check to make sure you're in the right classes. On a final note, you can revise your registration until January 14th. After then, you need to email your counselor with questions and or schedule changes. All schedule changes should be finalized by March 2nd. And we do ask you that you check your email often in case there have been any changes in classes, class cancellations, or we just have questions for you about your schedule. Thanks, and I hope you have good luck registering for your classes.